Okay. All right. We got some news. Okay. First up is this ribbon cable. It's a 16 pin IDC ribbon cable. Comes in uh, Adafruit Black. Uh, we got these cables for a couple reasons. One, if you're using our GPIO expander bonnet, you can plug these in and then extend the GPIO out to wherever you like, which is really handy. Um, it's also really good with our GPIO, sorry, our RGB matrix bonnet. So I can show that real fast as well on the overhead. So yeah, if you have our GPIO uh, matrix bonnet or hat, and you probably know that these are the standard connectors for RGB matrices, um, this is just two feet long, or sorry, it's one foot long. It's a little bit longer than the existing cable, and also if you just wanna extend it or uh, chain them together, um, we now just have these cables available for you. So uh, very basic cable, but you know, if you need one, you need one. So now we have them. Okay, next up. Next up, we have a stereo RCA jack. Um, this is the same jack that fits into our uh, I2S bonnet. Um, you don't need it because it has a, a 3.5 millimeter out, but if you don't mind this chunky connector, you can solder it on and uh, it'll give you a stereo composite out, which might be handy. So we picked up a hundred of these and uh, we put them in the store for you uh, if you want them. Yeah, if you're still doing stuff with VCRs, this is for you. Well, yeah, some TVs still have composite. That's right. Like stereo systems. Yeah. It is a nice connector. Okay, next up we have um, some shorty stacking header kits for the Itsy Bitsy. We have male pins, so you can see them here, and they're a little shorter than normal. And here they are soldered into an Itsy Bitsy. You can see they go all the way around. You get all the pins. And then yeah, we also it have- It looks like some type of insects. Insect no, I, I, am, <laughs> I have legs. <laughs> and then we also have the matching um, socket header kit, which you can also Solder and against these are shorter than usual. These are shorty, yeah. so they're good if you want to make a compact, um, itsy bitsy connection, or you want to because it is itsy. It's supposed to be small. If you want to stack something on top, um, this little header kit will make it really easy for you. Uh, it's a JST connector connected to a battery pack. Uh, we have some uh, dual batteries. Uh, packs. These are two AAA batteries with an on-off switch, and the on-off switch is really nice. And uh, we also have a double A version, um, same JST connector, basically same battery pack, except it's two double A's, and again, it has an on off switch. Yeah. Um, so this on -off is, switch is nice. The on off switch is nice, and this is spe specifically for people who have micro bits, because a micro bit, um, they specify only running off of two alkaline batteries. Um, that's the battery pack that, that comes with, but that battery pack doesn't have an on off switch. And so you're supposed to yank the JST out, but it can get stuck or like kids are a little bit rough. Um, it can whip out of the sock and you can damage the battery or, or possibly the micro bit. Um, so these are a little bit more expensive, but they have an on off switch. So you just flick it off when you are done with the battery pack and uh, you know, your micro bit turns off. It can be used for other electronics as well. Um, but you know, we thought this would be particularly useful for micro bit. And then the AA battery pack, of course, has three times as much uh, current capability um, capacity as the AAA. So if you need a micro bit project to last a long time, uh, or you want to just use AA batteries because they're maybe a little more common than AAA, um, you can go for this battery pack. Okay, next up. Um, we have the uh, three millimeter um, multi LED pack. So um, these uh, come uh, five different colors with five LEDs per. So it's 25 pieces total. You get five red, five green, five yellow, five blue, five white. Um, shown here, they're diffused. A lot of schools and students were like, oh, you know, I just want an assortment. So we now have an assortment, it's a couple bucks. And we have them in three millimeter. We have them in five millimeter, it's kind of classic. Uh, shown here, you can see the five millimeter diffused LEDs. Yeah. And uh, we also have them in chunky 10 millimeter, which is, these are my favorite, they look like jelly beans. Don't eat them, but they're nice and chunky. And again, they have diffused in the, the color of the body is the color of the LED, so it's very easy to use in your projects. And you get, uh, for all these, you get five times five colors, 25 total. Next up. Plants. We have uh, a uh, 4-H clover kit. Um, the clover kit uh, comes with a bunch of seeds, and you plant them, and you water the uh, peat moss. 
and you can grow your own clover. So this is kind of an introduction to, you know, if you, it's very young kids who've never um, planted anything before. Um, this kit will um, let them, like, experience what it's like to plant seeds, especially or, if you live in a city. Or, or, if, or if you have a soil or, sensor or kit. Or you're going to use a soil sensor kit and a uh, 4-H edition of Circuit Playground Express. Yeah. So matchy-matchy. Yeah, we'll we, have a we, kit we, soon. Yeah, and, uh, you know, 4-H site is selling Circuit playgrounds now so we thought we should start selling some potted plants yeah lady Ada's house of electronics and potted plants potted plants all right um next okay up. next up we have this jetbot uh, nvidia kit so if you have an nvidia jetson nano and you want to make the 3d printed robot kit um that they have as a project on their site uh this pack kind of gives you everything all together i think we're out of a part or two but when it's in stock all in stock we can buy it as a pack and it's a little bit lower cost than yeah. getting the individual components and this is good if you're experimenting with things like blinka to circuit python for linux because runs on jetson okay next up we have this ina 260 um this is a power sensor it's kind of an update to the ina 219 which is very popular so designed from by uh, Brian Sedacious, who is uh, an electrical engineer working with us. And um, this is uh, up to uh, plus or minus 26 volts, which is nice, as the resistor built in and up to 15 amps of current. So it's like we put in a big chunky connector. Uh, so this is um, either high or low side power sensing, does voltage, current, power, uh, built in precision trimmed, I think point two milliohm resistor. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's the, the resistor is built into it. So there's no external components that you have to worry about matching. And of course it's pre-trimmed for you. Just kind of a nice upgrade to the 219. Um, can do high or low, of course. You can have it to four on one address. Otherwise the code is very similar and we have a library for it for both Arduino and CircuitPython. Okay, and the star of the show tonight besides community and you, Lady Ada, is? The uh, Pi Badge Low Cost. So this is a coming soon. So you'll have to just be happy with these LC. photos. And maybe we'll have them instead. We'll show it more in detail next week as we're adding make code support. LC, so that means it's lower cost. Lower cost. So this version of the Pi Badge, um, which we showed last week, does not have connectors on the back. So if you look on the back, there's no feather headers, there's no stem connectors, there's no accelerometer. Where'd they go? Well, that's savings. That's, the, that's your, savings in your pocket. It went into savings. There's no Molex connector frictional yeah. speaker. It still has the battery charge and backup stuff. Um, so you can charge the battery. It has all the buttons as the on off switch, has the reset switch, has the light sensor, has the screen and the buttons on the front. So you can use it with MakeCode Arcade or CircuitPython or Arduino, but to make it as low cost as possible, we wanted to um, make this very affordable. Uh, we dropped all the connectors and then on the front, there's only one NeoPixel instead of five. So, you know, by cutting all that yeah. out, we were basically able to make it $25. So a lot of, a lot of a low cost badge. electronic educational efforts get subsidies and they Someone gives them a ton of money. We don't get that. So we have to figure out ways to make things as low cost as possible. But even with that, even without getting those type of things, we managed to do it. Yes, and this is still a, a great um, learning platform for Make Code Arcade. And it's low cost enough that I think you can get one for each student. Yeah. And with that is... New product.